Hey, what's up everybody? It's that guy Skimpy and today we're going to be making the herring head underspin by Dua Molds. Okay, here, here's the mold. There's five different cavities. So there's uh, the smallest is an eighth and they have a quarter, three eighths, half and five eighths. Right, the things that you're gonna need besides the mold are gonna be the wire forms. All right, so here's the hooks. These are the Gamagatsu 604s. These are the hooks I like to use, they're five aught. There's a couple different um, alternate hooks that you can use that are great, but I like the Gamagatsus. Another thing you're gonna need is blades. This is a 3.5 willow. And then the last thing you're going to need is a barrel swivel. So the last thing you're going to need is a barrel swivel. And it has uh, split rings on each side. And that way you can attach it to the underspin and you can also attach a blade on there. All right, so let's start making these. Okay, so we're going to smoke the mold here. So you take a candle, a lighter, light it up. You're gonna put the flame right underneath each cavity. And what that's gonna do is, is it's gonna help uh, have the lead fill all the cavities and it's also gonna help to um, take the, the, uh, the lead out of the cavity. So you make sure that you get each one nice and black. So you make sure that they're all nice and smoked. And then I'm gonna leave the uh, the mold on top of the lead and get it nice and hot. Okay, so I put the wire form in and I put the uh, five aught hook there. And I'm gonna be making quarter ounce. Um, I know a lot of people go smaller and a lot of people go bigger, but the quarter ounce is the, the size that I like the best. Okay, so you wanna make sure that it's completely closed. And then, uh, cause if there's gaps in there, it won't fill it up as good. All right, so let's do this. Pour right in there. Okay, there it is. And then now we're gonna take off the uh, sprue here. You're just gonna bend it a little bit. Then you can file it down and make it smoother. That's it. And let's paint it up and finish the process. All right, now we have them all poured. It's time to put some paint on there. Um, I decided to go with a perch color underspin. The reason I've decided to go to perch is my buddy JR has been asking me for a perch color uh, underspin and I owe him a favor, so I'm gonna surprise him and make him one. So I need two colors of Protec. I use the watermelon pepper and the new penny. So basically what I do is, I heat up the top and then I just sprinkle on the watermelon pepper. Then I heat up the bottom. Then I sprinkle on the new penny. That easy and it makes an awesome color. It's a pretty good uh, perch color. So let's go ahead and start this. I have my heat gun. I have my Protec powder paint already. Let's go. All right, so it's time to sprinkle on 
the uh, watermelon pepper. Okay, now it's time to sprinkle on the new penny. So we're gonna put it back to the heat. And we're gonna sprinkle on the new penny. That's it. Okay, so there it is. So once you, uh, once we bake it, it uh, the colors will kind of blend in a little bit better. But yeah, we're gonna put it in the oven for at 350 degrees for about 20, 30 minutes. And then we'll put some eyeballs on there, and then we will uh, go ahead and put on uh, the blade. Okay, so I did a total bonehead move and forgot to press record on the camera when I was putting on the eyes. But that's what it looks like with the eyes on there. And I just used these eyes, and I used the uh, two-ton epoxy to put them on. Okay, so here it is, finished. So uh, if you notice that the, the wire forms open a little bit, and I took the blade and I put a barrel swivel on there. So you just hook on, just like that. And then you take pliers and you go ahead and close them. So you take the pliers, and you just close it up. Alright guys, so there you have it, the underspin, you got your underspin, you got your barrel swivel and you got your blade. Alright guys, thank you for watching, hopefully you liked the video, hopefully you learned something, make sure to head over to uh, Dual Mold's website and pick this mold up man, this is a must have in your arsenal. Man, shout out to Do It Mold, shout out to C2 Castware, shout out to Trigger Happy Comfort Grips, shout out to Living Rubber, and shout out to Line Cutters. Thank you guys for watching. That guy Skimpy, please subscribe.